Anyone who has worked a lot with Node.js has probably already discovered the assert core module, which can be imported using the ES module syntax. To ensure that we get the version from Node.js itself, I will prefix it with Node. There is also an assert strict that we will cover in a bit. But first, let's check what the assertion module offers to us. There are some equality checks where we can pass in values. So I will use an array here and I will compare it with another array, which will have the same values inside. And the check won't be successful because arrays in JavaScript are objects and are compared by the reference. So when we execute this assertion, we will get to see an error. Let me just prove that using TS node and executing here my source code, so the assert ts file. As expected, the assertion ends up in an error, so we get to see an error code here. Although the elements inside both arrays look the same, but the equality check here is done through the array references, which are different, because two different arrays, two different references. That's nothing unexpected, because if we start node and if we then code here, the same check with the equality operator, then we will also get to see that this comparison here ends up to be false. Time to exit our little excursion here and to exit our Node.js program. And then we will look further if we find maybe a better function to compare the elements here of these two arrays. Lucky us, there is a function called deep equal and deep equal checks the values inside of an array. So when using deep equal, we will see that both arrays are now the same because they are compared by their elements. Unfortunately, there is still a little issue with it because deep equal just uses the equality check and not the strict equality check, which means that if we compare a string, with three and then the number three, it will be okay. So our script exits without any error and that's probably not what we want. Let's investigate how it is in Node.js. So in plain Node, if we check the string of three and uh, compare it with the number three, we'll get to see that it is true. So the comparison here is successful. But if we use the strict equality operator, so three times the equal sign, then we'll see that it's not equal anymore because now the value and the type is checked. And that's what we would like to have in a type safe code. So we can get that by actually using the assert strict module. As always, don't take my word for it. Let me prove it to you. When executing now the same code, we'll get to see an assertion error and we will see that the deep strict equal functionality here told us that a string is not a number, which is why our code now fails. We have learned that an assertion function throws an error when something unexpected happens. And now we will learn how to write our own assertion function using TypeScript. We will start off by writing a function declaration. I will name that function is string and then we will check if the input is of type string but we will accept unknown inputs because our function will find out what it is. That's why we have to use the assert keyword which is probably new to some of you but what is maybe already known is a type predicate. So input is string is a type predicate and by prefixing it with asserts we will get an assertion function. Of course we have to write a function implementation as well, just an assertion signature isn't enough. So let's check our input and let's check if the input is not of type string because an assertion function needs to throw an error if something is not as expected which is why we have to throw now here a new error and 
let's uh, give a descriptive error message where we will tell the user what is the value of the input and the type so that the user can then see why it wasn't accepted. I will just lock here type of input as well and then tell the user that the input is not a string, exclamation mark. Now we have a custom assertion function in place so we can write another function to make use of it. I will name that function to uppercase or maybe, let me think about it. No, let's name it shout because I want to use an uppercase function from a string already. So let's uh, call it here shout and let's accept an A of type unknown and a parameter B of type unknown. And then we will shout to someone as a string. <laughs> so here we will return then the A and the B in uppercase. So let's start out with A. And I can't use to uppercase because A is of type unknown. And preferably we will get a string here. But an unknown type doesn't have a to uppercase method. So how can we turn A into a string? Well, we have our newly created assertion function. So we can validate if A is a string by just calling that function and passing it our A. And if that function succeeds, then the code goes from line eight into line nine, which is the guarantee for TypeScript that A is of type string so that we can now call the to uppercase method from that string. We can apply the same technique to B. So on B, we would also like to call to uppercase so that we have A and B in uppercase letters, but to uppercase doesn't exist on an unknown type. So we have to verify that B is also a string, which we can do by calling our assertion function with the parameter don't forget to call the function. So parentheses are important here. That makes our function now complete. So we can check that out in practice. Let's lock the output of it. So I will shout my own name by passing it Benny as the first parameter and my last name as the second parameter. Then we can run the script and while I'm typing the pass to the script, I want to highlight that this assertion function will work in Node.js, but also in a browser environment, which is pretty nice and an advantage over Node's core module. So let's see what we get. Yes, my first name and last name in uppercase. To be a good programmer, we should also check what happens when we don't pass in a correct value. So let me turn my last name into a number. I will use my lucky number 72. And when we now execute the code, the assertion function should throw an error and tell us that the input here is a number and not a string. Congratulations. In just under 10 minutes, you have learned how to write an assertion function in TypeScript that can be used in browser environments and Node.js applications.